welcome, Mr. Jason Newstead. Hey, what's happening, everybody? Hey, what's going on, my man? Feeling good about feeling good? Yeah, I hear you there. Welcome. Congrats on everything that is happening. You seem to be a very busy individual these days. So tell us what's happening. Uh, I got a new band together uh, under my own name, Newstead. We uh, put out a metal EP back in January. It has four tracks on it. Went to number one at iTunes for a few weeks. Um, got a four-piece band together now, including Mike Mushak from Spain, and we're uh, getting ready to do our first live show this weekend in California, and we got a full, full boat tour happening going around the world, um, all the way through, we're booked for the next three months now, and pretty much start off with a lot of other offers on the horizon, and a new LP on its way in the fall. I've been checking you out, man, and you've just been sick off the hook with doing so much. Moosehead seems to be gaining momentum from its first full length uh, that was released not too long ago. Can you tell us about how the band came about and how it formed? Yeah, I got a couple guys together to make a power trio uh, from Fresno, California. Drummer's name is Casey Mendez Jr. and guitar player's name is Jesse Farnsworth. And we play uh, a lot of improvisational like slabs of metal in my studio for the last five years, just kind of messing around and keeping it alive. And then uh, at the end of 2011, uh, Lars invited me to come and play for the 30th anniversary of the Metallica shows in San Francisco. And of course I agreed to go play some songs as long as I got to play the fastest one. He agreed on that with me and so I went and played Whiplash and Fight Fire and all that stuff for the people. And they screamed me back into, uh, I mean it just hit me so hard again in a, in a beautiful way. The overwhelming response of the fans has pulled me back into the metal again. And uh, so we got this band firing on all pistons now. That's yeah, just outstanding, and I'm glad to hear that. The sound you guys are putting out is absolutely crushing and explosive. Everything sounds strong. How long did it take to actually create this CD? Uh, the EP that's out right now, the Metal EP, actually, we did in one week's time. Wow. Um, we just happened to get a deal from one of our buddies that has this little kind of a state-of-the-art new studio. He said we'd go in there for a couple grand and... I just had a handful of songs written, took my boys in there and we knocked them out and we picked four of them that became the four that it was me to on the EP now. So it was a quick kind of labor of love thing, but we were very prepared. We play a lot still, put a lot of hours in, so we were able to do it pretty quickly. It's still very real. We turn on the machine, boys go in the room, we jam it, we record it, that's what you get. The four tracks that I've heard are just mind-boggling. Is the metal EP exactly what you were going for when you set out to do this? This was all kind of a project, like I said earlier, about a labor of love, where we wanted to go and prove it for ourselves. We've been playing for about some years, and then we want to do something for real. It actually just to have like a uh, tool jam just blast in the truck and stuff as we drove around. That's what we were going to begin with. It was just going to be a thing for us. And then uh, one person heard it and played it for the next person. Somebody else heard Soldier Head. And about well, know, 10 days, 12 days later, we got Universal, Sony, David Geffen, everybody at the door. <laughs> and uh, so now here I am talking to you due to the world tour, my dude. Let's talk about Chop House update on NewsteadHeavyMetal.com. Something new is coming soon. Can you give us a bit on that? For sure, man. We've been working in the Chop House. It's the first album, real worldwide release, that's ever been made in my studio. My studio's been cooking for about 21 years now. We've been doing all kinds of demos and different things. A couple of them have made it out into the world, like the irate and the echo brain things and stuff like that but never a full album, this is the first time. And so we've got some people from the old Metallica camp that came out of the Bob Rock school and uh, that are doing the recording and mixing for me. A lot of old old friends, longtime friends, are coming out to help us out and support us on this. So we've just finished the recording for the LP, just doing the mixing this week. We're starting pre-production rehearsals for the shows today. Um, so it's a very busy time, but we have the LP full. I'm delivering 15 songs to the label. Um, and we're probably going to put, you know, like, I want to make sure that we, everybody gets what I call the headbang for the buck. And, and put, put a lot, you know, a good solid hour of music out for people to share. So that's what we're working on right now. It's kind of honing down which songs we're going to choose to make that hour. And uh, the record company came up last week to listen to the music. And their consensus was that uh, they didn't think we could beat the EP, but we have. And so um, that's where we're kind of headed now. And Looks like um, we're going to do this tour all the way through the summer and then we'll put the record out maybe like in September or something like when, when we've rolled it all out and everybody knows what we're about and knows we're out there. I personally can't wait to hear some of it myself. Like I said, the, the four tracks I listened to on the Metal EP is just outstanding. I know you're really pressed for time. I won't keep you much longer. Just maybe one or two quick more questions. I have to say, great job with the Little Kids Rock Project. 
Sounds like a very admirable cause. Can you tell us how this originated? Uh, I got asked to join a few years ago. Um, it's just, it's a fantastic idea. Uh, they, I think they started in Jersey or New York or something like that. That was eventually came around to six or seven states. And I'm not sure how many it is in now, but quite a few. And the program basically is a thing that puts guitars in the hands of kids starting in third grade um, all the way up to sixth grade. And every instrument is the same. Um, the acoustic guitar maker has made it so we can get a guitar for thirty dollars for the kids each, and then so we donate money and you know, three hundred bucks can get a lot of instruments. Three thousand get and get even more for the kids. But every guitar is exactly the same, and you have to create your own relationship with that instrument. Nobody's shinier, sparklier, pink or black or green or whatever. It's all the same instrument, and they're encouraged to write their own songs. They learn together as a classroom, and then they're encouraged each. At the end of each year is a culmination. Whoever writes the best songs, the songs get performed by the uh, supporters of Little Kids Rock, like myself and Roy Rogers and B.B. King and Bonnie Raitt and Tom Waits and all these people actually record the kids' songs that they've written. So it's a pretty wonderful experience for us and for them. I think I probably had more fun than they did, actually. <laughs> so it really is a wonderful thing to see. Uh, you know, it's something that nobody can take away from those kids, that relationship with their instrument. It's not about a team. It's not about being worse or better or that kind of thing on the thing or hitting home runs or whatever. It's the relationship you have with the instrument. You're as good as you are with it, and that's it, and that's perfect, you know. That's absolutely amazing. Last question. According to many sources, you took a break due to an injury. You found an outlet in painting. Will you still find the time to explore this creative side? I haven't been able to paint for some months now because the band is still on fire, but um, I did have uh, three different shoulder surgeries from 2004 to 2008. I was basically a one-armed man in those years going back and forth, but in that time I learned to use both of my arms equally. So um, it's kind of a blessing in that way when I figured out for my instruments it's much better too. But uh, I do all my paintings with both hands now and both sides of my brain, therefore. So there's a lot of cool things that come from that. I do have collectors and an agent and all that stuff. <laughs> too, so it is a wonderful art. It's very similar to the music. Um, the paintings are basically the same intensity, just in a different medium, same colors, same craziness. So it's just uh, it's something that I had to do because I wasn't actually able to physically play my instrument. So well, that, that kind of stinks, but you've been busy in other areas, and I'll tell you, you know, you, you really, when I started researching you, you took me by surprise because I had no clue you were doing all this. Yeah. So it's great. I'm glad to see you're back on the men. I'm glad to see you're back in metal. It's been a long time coming for you, and... Uh, I just want to say thank you. I wish you and the band all the success in the world, and I can't wait for the new CD to come out. Well, that's, I appreciate all that, man. Thank you very much for your help. And um, yeah, we got some cool shows coming up that are just like our warm-up shows. We're doing a half a dozen in the West. We're starting, like I said, this week, and then we're coming out um, your direction there uh, in, in May to play. So. I'll make sure that everybody, we got the Middle East there in Cambridge on the 20th, and uh, NewsteadHeavyMetal.com, everybody can check out like tour dates, and we got some uh, merchandise, we also have archival recordings from the shop house, and a bunch of other cool stuff if you're interested in that, and uh, yeah man, I'm, I'm pretty jacked up to bring it out to the people again, I haven't been next deep in it since 03 with Ozzy, so I, I'm really pretty much confident that this show everybody what's up again. I bet you are, my friend. Again, I thank you. We're going to let you go, and so you can get back to work. You got to go. Yeah, thank you very much for that. No problem, man. You have a good one, and again, good luck with everything, the tour, the new CD, everything that's going on. Nothing but the best. Thank you, man. Keep the metal alive. I'll see you out there.